Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here because today we're doing a Gucci haul. Before we get into this video, welcome to Park Avenue. My name is Ashley Park, if you're new here, and I do videos like these all the time, unboxings, outfit idea videos. If that's the kind of content you wanna see, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. Now let's get into the video. So the first piece I'm gonna show you guys are a pair of shoes. These are the famous Princetown loafers. I love these shoes, I have them in white and that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead and get a neutral pair because I wore the white ones to death and I'm gonna to continue to wear them. They're really easy to wear, they're easy to style and they're very comfortable. Um, they look nice dressed up in like a more dressy casual sort of way and even in a really casual way. So when I saw these, I knew they were gonna be perfect for my collection. And this color was really hard for me to get my hands on. I actually got these from Nordstrom, um, but this color just kept selling out in my size. It was there for like a second, then it wasn't there. I couldn't find it on any other websites. It was just going so quickly, and then one day I saw they had it, um, and they had it at Nordstrom, so I was like, let me just go ahead and get it right now. So as you can see, I've never even worn them. As soon as I got them, I took them to the shoe cobbler so that they can put the rubber sole on the bottom and then put the taps on the back because it really helps extend the life of these. If you don't do that, it easily wears down in the front and I've heard other um, women who have these shoes tell me that they didn't go ahead and put the rubber sole and they wore them a lot and then it started to wear down and then the lifespan of the shoe is just not as long as you would like. So I say go ahead and just do it right away before you even wear them if you're looking to invest in these shoes. I love this color so much and it's going to, it's going to be like a great staple in my wardrobe. I think I want these also in maybe red just because I love red so much now. I think a red pair would be great but if I'm honest I probably would just get the black pair and then I would just have the white this color and the black and that way I'm covered as far as neutrals because I want the pieces that I put into my wardrobe to be like you know pieces that I constantly reach for and I'm just not so sure I'm gonna be constantly reaching for a red pair of mules I don't know I'm gonna think about that right now I'm good with the white pair and this color I'm excited to wear these and actually I probably could wear them now because where I live is not it's not, I mean it's cold but it's not freezing so I'm in and out of the car so I could probably just slip these on and throw on a chunky sweater and some jeans and you got a cute outfit, you know? So I love these. And then I got a couple of belts. Now, the belts I actually got from Neiman Marcus. If you're in the Atlanta area, um, the Gucci inside the Neiman Marcus is really great. Um, of course, we, they have the, out, the freestanding Gucci store, but the Gucci in Neiman Marcus is really great. And if you're shopping there, ask for Tiffany. She's my essay in Gucci, and I'll leave her information in the description box so that way you guys can shop with her. Sometimes you guys ask me who my essays are, and if I have a good one, I'll recommend them to you. So check her out and check out the description box. So the first piece, I, the first belt I got was this white belt. And the reason why I wanted this white belt is because I have the white Princetown loafers. And I just thought it would be a nice combination to have the white belt with white loafers. And white is a great staple to have as well. Most people reach for blacks and grays and things like that, but a white belt is a great piece to have in your wardrobe too because it is really versatile. And I'm not gonna be like super careful with it because it's white, I'm gonna just wear it with whatever I feel it goes with and use it a lot because that's why I buy these pieces so I could just use them a lot and know that they're really good quality. And what I love about this belt is that it has the interlocking G's, but it also has the horse bit. And I really wanted the like the first wave of the whole Gucci belt when like Gucci came back and it was huge, the Gucci belts with the interlocking G's. And they had them in like small, large, and like extra large. I really love those. And I wanted one because it was like an old gold and it was really cute, but then I saw them everywhere and everyone had them. Now, I don't know if that's what's gonna happen with this one, but so far I haven't really seen anybody with it, but I really love the horse bit. I'm really into the whole equestrian vibe. So I really like the idea of having interlocking G's with the horse bit. And I feel like it's not like obviously Gucci. I mean, of course, the interlocking G's are obviously Gucci, but it's just a little bit more understated. So for that fact, I also got the belt in this color because I just showed you guys the cognac Princeton loafers that I have. So I also just went ahead and got the belt in the same color. I don't usually do like matchy matchy, but 
I like the idea of the belt and the shoes being um, the same color. And plus, you can wear the, these colors that I got. They're going to go with so many other things that I have. So I felt that it was a, a great investment to make. And then this one has sort of like a quilted pattern. So that's also a little bit more interesting. But I really love this color. I'm like really excited to wear it. I love the way the gold looks against this cognac. I really, really love it. So that's really cute. And then I'm super excited to show you guys this next piece. This little cutie here. So I got this little wallet. Now when I first saw it, it just looked like a wallet in the case until I was talking to my essay and she told me that um, they were styling it as a belt bag. So I was like, what do you mean? So when she showed it to me, I just thought it was the cutest little thing like a wallet on a chain, which I was sold with it right then. I just thought it was the cutest little thing on this chain. But then when she opened it up and showed me that she could wear it as a belt bag, like it goes through your belt loops, I just couldn't even, I just, I just, it's still the deal for me when I saw that. So basically, it's just your standard wallet. It holds six cards and you can double up the cards to fit more cards in there, but if you're just putting them in single, it holds six cards. It has a change purse and that's pretty much it. Obviously, if you're carrying it as a handbag, you could not fit a cell phone in here, but I carry my cell phone in my hand most of the time anyway. Um, so it, it didn't matter to me. And then the chain, you can take it off and use this as a standard wallet if you want because here it just has like the chain goes through these little loops on the side and then just detach it if you want to carry it as a standard wallet but i think what makes this so appealing is the fact that you can carry it on a chain so it's like a micro bag and i'm really into micro bags at the moment but realistic micro bags i i just feel like some of these bags you can't even fit a card in there and this one is really cool because it has a little bit of a width to it because it's for change but I'm gonna show you guys that I can also fit I got this little gloss in my pocket <laughs> just for demonstration purposes I have some change in there and then I'm also gonna put this little mini size liquid lipstick inside just to show you guys what can fit so on top of the six cards you can fit a small lip product your change if you need to but you're probably not even carrying change I mean most people don't have change these days so that's pretty much all you need. And then have your cell phone in your hand, which you're always gonna have in your hand anyway because people are constantly checking their phones, snapping pictures, and Instagram, and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's perfect. I mean, it's not gonna be your everyday bag, but it's great for a night out, or you know, clip it onto your belt in a, and then wear it in addition to another bag, you know? It's just a really cute accessory, and I've actually found it very useful. So I would definitely recommend that. And another thing that I think is really cool about this is the horse bit and the interlocking G's are gold and silver. Now this is part of the Gucci Zumi collection, and in that collection, the horse bit and G's are um, gold and silver, and I really like the combination, which is so funny for me to say because I used to hate mixing my metals. Like, I would never do it. But I've really been coming around to that lately, and when I saw this, I thought it was really cute and a great way to incorporate the mixed metals into, you know, my wardrobe. So I really like this a lot and I would definitely recommend it. It comes in so many other colors too. They had it in green and it comes in some other skins too. I don't know if it was ostrich, but they had some other skins and they had some other colors. It comes in white. Oh, beautiful. The cream was so beautiful. But yeah, I really love this. And finally, the last couple of things I have for you are actually from the Gucci outlet. So I am really late to the game on this one, but I found out that there are a few Gucci outlets, like pop-up shops that open up um, in a few states across the country, and I'm in an area where they have one. So when I went, I was, I mean, I was expecting this to be like a standard outlet, but because of the pop-up, it looked very bare in there. They didn't have like very many fixtures. It wasn't like colorful. It wasn't like, it looked like something that was temporary. So because it was a pop-up, a pop up, I wasn't like expecting too much in that, in terms of like, you know, how pretty the store was gonna look. But I did expect for them to have more items, which they didn't, I mean, it was very minimal. Um, so I guess that's all part of it being a pop-up. From what I heard, um, the one of the sales associates there told me that depending on how they do, they're considering keeping the Gucci outlet in the outlets in my area. But they really didn't have that many items and the items that they did have weren't that exciting. They did have a pair of sandals that I tried on. I really, really liked them. I, got, I took some photos. I wasn't able to film in there. I was gonna try to get some footage for you guys, but they um, didn't want me to film in there. So I tried on these one pair of sandals. I like them, but they didn't really like fit me properly. My foot kind of slid out of them, so I didn't get those. I did. I mean, the couple of things that I did get, so this is just a tie for my boyfriend. 
I thought this one was so cute because from afar you can't even tell that it's Gucci but if you get up close to it you can see the tiny interlocking G's and even when you're up on, on top of it I mean it's not like obvious you really have to look so I like that it's understated but it's still a really nice tie and it's a classic piece I think and then they also had scarves there now this scarf was I think it was about 180 and the scarves on the website are closer to $300 or $300 plus so I think that was a good deal as well this is just a standard you know with the G print on it it's a really nice purplish gray color it's really really cute and then on the inside it has the reverse so I really like that but it's a nice size scarf a great scarf in the summer and the winter I mean it's not super heavy or thick but it's gonna be really cute to like layer, especially if you're like in air conditioning or anything like that. So that's just a nice piece to add to your wardrobe, just to add a little bit more texture, a little bit more fun. And that's really it. I mean, they had in the outlet, there were some past collections there, like they had um, the Gucci with the, the, like the Chevron in the velvet. They had all those. And I actually was really obsessed with them when they first came out, but then seeing them there, I wasn't wowed at all by them. And they had a couple of bags in there that I had never even seen, like, in the actual store. So I'm not really sure where those came from. And I'm sure, I don't know every bag that was released in Gucci in previous collections. But there were some things that I had never even seen before. So if you guys are interested, you should check out the outlet. Because it's a good way to get some pieces from previous collections at a good price. Hey guys, <laughs> this is my mom. You guys have been asking about her, Wait, like, put my hater block forever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys have been asking for her forever. So now, here you get to meet her. We're at the outlets. Hey. <laughs> We're in Burberry's outlet. Blueberry. In the North Georgia Premier Outlets. We discovered they had a Gucci outlet here, but they really didn't have anything like that. But that's it. I really, really am excited for the pieces that I did get because my goal for 2020 is to just have pieces that are staple classic I'm constantly gonna be reaching for I'm gonna get maximum use out of just pieces that I really love that's what I want to continue to incorporate into my wardrobe this year so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know in the comments what you think about these pieces I'm actually gonna also list in the description box some alternatives I know that you guys might not be interested in getting exactly these pieces but maybe you still want the look so I'm gonna see what I can find that's similar and I'm gonna link it in the description box and you guys can let me know if you are interested in any of those pieces let me know if you like these pieces that I showed you guys in this video and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy the video, give me a thumbs down. Make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.